Well, it's Friday, and we are so blessed to be here with you. Yay, Friday. I love Fridays. That means mm-hmm. I'm that much closer to Sunday. I love getting together with other Christians. I like, you know, uh, let me invite you um, um, uh, just an, an advertisement here. Uh, come Sunday morning, 845, um, we have this adult Bible class going on back here. And I think there's about 20 or 25 people that come to that. But boy, if you want some food, that is the place for food. Spiritual and physical. Spiritual and physical, right. I mean, they bring lots of goodies in there. Not just one person. I'm telling you, they have a whole spread back there sometimes. So uh, anyway, it's a good good time. But So come Sunday, all right? Uh, uh, This Sunday, 10 o'clock is our morning worship service. But 845, we have... uh, the Bible study. If you'd like to come and pray before the service, we pray uh, 9.30 to 9.45 every Sunday morning, and so come be a Well, and this Sunday, you're, uh, we're having, uh, Dennis Luton's going to be speaking. Amen, amen. Yeah. Boy, you'll really enjoy He's an evangelist, it. and he'll yes. get us fired up. That's what we need. That's what Praise we need. God. Mm-hmm. Amen. Excited about that. And then also, uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, we have our men's breakfast. Oh, okay. So we want to invite all the guys that are listening to come to the the breakfast okay uh today our title is overcoming disappointment and uh, maybe we should relate that back to yesterday about being content because when we are uncontent we become disappointed disappointed in the things happening around us is there a word for uncontent or is it discontent it's discontent so it goes along with disappointment disappointment that means not 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 not, not, you're not. not there Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I like that. You know, we've all been there. We've, it's that person on the stage surrounded by people announcing the first prize that goes to the other (laughs) contestant. You know, you're holding onto the ticket and you're just sure you're going to win and then you're disappointed yeah, you know? I mean, yeah. See, yeah so or maybe you when you were growing up you were in sports and oh yeah you were in some championship game and well somebody has to lose right 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 and you lose and you're disappointed or maybe you were in a music competition <laughs> and you were disappointed or maybe someone promised you something they were going to take you somewhere yeah and circumstances were such that they weren't able to do it were you disappointed yes same thing happens Amen. as adults. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, the Holy Spirit, look, look what he says that last. He said, may you overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, we always think of the Holy Spirit, don't we, as, you know, um, you know, the, the t- speaking in tongues, you know, right. and things like this. But that the Holy Spirit brings the power of hope into our lives. Well, you know, and we always think of the Holy Spirit. They tell us the Holy Spirit is a teacher, our God. He's our comforter. Yep. Yeah. Well, when you're disappointed, he's the one that comforts your heart. Yes, he is. You're full of that. He will minister to you. Uh, I remember such revelation came to me when I was quite young. I'd just gotten born again. When someone told me that Jesus feels everything I felt. And he sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. And so when we're disappointed, he just says, Holy Spirit, minister to him. Yeah. Holy Spirit, love on him. And that was such a revelation to me at a young age to know that Jesus cared that much about the feelings I had. You know, and I tell you, if people on the verge of suicide just knew how much Jesus cared about yes, them, amen. we need to share that with them, that people love them, people care about them. I don't know why I'm saying this right now, but there's somebody that God's going to drop in your heart, and they may be in such a depression and disappointed over something in their life that they think the best way to stop the pain is to take their lives. I encourage you now, whoever that person is they put in your heart, you call them right now and you encourage them and you tell them that Jesus cares about their disappointment. Jesus cares about the depression they're in. And you may be the lifeline, you will be the lifeline to keep them from that situation. You know, Marsha, we all have disappointments in our life, you know, and sometimes we have to work through those disappointments, don't we? You know, it's not like that God's a a fairy and he's a boom, you know, he takes it away, you know, but there are times in our lives when we 
work through disappointment. You know, that that's one thing that Paul was talking about, you know, you know, here Lord, I'm doing all these things and I'm winding up, you know, why why aren't why aren't all these things falling into place and, and disappointment. He was mm-hmm. disappointed in people. Right. People that he had invested in in the word of God into that had turned away and were no longer following the way. You know, right. Jesus don't you know Jesus was disappointed in his disciples? Oh, sure. Many times when, well, when he faced the Harry crucifixion was, alone, you yeah, know. I mean, and, he, so. and he asked them to, to pray. Yes. And he comes down and they're all Good asleep. pray, yeah. Can yeah. you not pray with me, you know? And, but but you're right. So much of our disappointment comes because we have expectations yeah. for the other people. Yeah. And you know what? We just need to love them. We do. If they let us down, we just need to love them, work through that, just like you're talking about, because we've all been disappointed. Yeah. And uh, after uh, we've been in the ministry 49 years now, I can tell you, people are people. Yep. And people will disappoint you. And so many times, your expectations are for good for them, and then they, they, they don't live up to that yeah. expectation yeah. or they fall short. And you become disappointed. Well, we just have to get our eyes off the people and get them on Jesus. Well, I'm so glad God never gets disappointed in me, aren't you? Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> Listen, let me lead, lead in with this statement here. Whatever you may be going through, remember to hope in the Lord. Amen. He is your hope. God bless you. Hope to see you Sunday. Dennis is going to be preaching. It's going to be awesome. God bless. <laughs>